welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I was gonna feature this palette in a video. I wanted to do a quick eye look with the Alter Ego Goddess palette. So this was sent to me and I did do a swatch party video of this palette as well as their Daydream palette, I believe. That one is the more mauve tone palette. And I really love this color scheme. I love the price point of this palette. So I thought for you ladies that don't want to break the bank buying very high-end makeup, this might be a good option. So without further blabbering, let's get into how I created this eyeshadow look. Okay guys, if I seem sleepy, just know that even though it's like almost 11 a.m. Oh fuck, I should have gone to the gym. Crap. Oh, I'm a terrible person. So give this video a huge thumbs up if you pay for a gym membership and you never use it because <laughs> uh, that would make me feel better <laughs> about my life choices to film YouTube videos instead of going to the gym. It's like ridiculous. Also, like I swear like the older we get, the less time I seem to have for friends. It's so terrible because I am not even as busy as some of my other friends are. But, like, during the week, me and Rel are so busy. And then, like, the weekends come and, like, he's gone this weekend working and I'm home. And I'm like, I should be doing laundry. But then we have, like, dinner invites and hang out with us invites. And I'm like, oh, my God. When am I going to clean my house? When? When? And it's like I don't have as much work as, like... A lady like somebody with kids but oh my god I like I talk about this to you guys all the time I like literally don't know how people do it I don't I don't it like amazes me and like how my mom had a full-time job and raised me in another country like blows my mind also like in Sri Lanka there is so much traffic it takes like an hour just to get from like one destination to the next so I remember like as a kid, when I went to school, my school was like an hour away, so I would have to get up early because we had to account for like traffic, and you couldn't really be late to school back home, like it was very strict and disciplined. And so, like me and my dad would pile into the car every morning and like get to school. And I wasn't even coming to school from that far away. There were kids that would go to school from like two, three hours away that literally spent their whole life commuting. Like, it's so ridiculous. So I decided, this isn't like a new palette by any means, but I wanted to give this palette its moment because it was sent to me. It was gifted to me by the brand Alter Ego. And this is their dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. Now, I posted like swatch parties of the two palettes they sent me and I totally get it like I'm a person that is super like skeptical about dupe palettes because I don't know I just think it's it's crazy from a brand perspective like if I was a brand owner I'd be so bummed because like somebody is kind of like it's really like stealing your work but on the other side of it like now as a consumer I'm like you know what like there's so many shady things happening in the beauty community. Like if somebody makes a cheaper version of a very high-end palette so that other people can try out the colors, like am I really gonna get mad about it? Like when there's like Jaclyn Hill selling like moldy lipsticks and like the crazy shit that happens in the beauty community. Like this hardly seems like a issue. Um, if you guys don't like do palettes, don't watch this video. It's totally fine. But this is for the women out there that aren't gonna spend every hard-earned penny on makeup. I totally get it. Like if I was on a budget, I would be looking for stuff like this. So that's who this video is for. I just want to do a quick look with this palette. It's a beautiful palette. Like I said, I have stuff going on after this, so I want to kind of do something neutral. And I love my Natasha Denona palette so, so much. Also, just so you guys know, it is on sale this weekend. Where is my Natasha? It's right here. It's in my special place pile. So, um, the gold palette's on sale on Beautylish this weekend, but I don't think this video's going to go up this weekend, so... 
the there was a sale you missed it like sorry you couldn't get the palette on sale <laughs> what i really should do is like one eye natasha denona one eye this palette but i don't want to do that i don't necessarily think that i need to compare the two i just think it's like Hey, like, if you like this color scheme, but you don't want to spend $129, which I totally understand, because this palette on sale, or the Natasha Denona palette on sale is still, like, 20% off, so it's, like, $100 still, so, like, come on, like, am I really going to judge anyone that doesn't want to spend that kind of money? No, because, like, you know what, like, shit, like, it's, it's not easy to make money, you know, like, you have to work your ass off, so... If you don't want to spend your hard-earned money on expensive makeup, like, I'm not going to judge you. So, anyway, I'm just putting in the shade Athena. It's like a mustard, like a mustard shade. And I just love this color so much. I love it in the Natasha Denona palette. And it's actually a really good quality in this palette. I don't know why I think, like, because it's more inexpensive that I should, like, not hold this to a standard. But, honestly, I feel like this one does... This one you know, it's, it's a good dupe. I swear. I wouldn't make this video if it wasn't. You know, there's so many dupe brands out there like Makeup Revolution and is it just Makeup Revolution? <laughs> Mostly Makeup Revolution is what I know about. And, uh, you know, I don't really buy their products because I've tried their stuff and it doesn't really work for me. But I tried this and I wore it on my eyes and I thought it was really good. And I was like, you know, like, screw it. Like, let me share it with my audience. And if they don't like it, that's fine. Nobody's forcing them to buy it. Sorry, I keep giving disclaimers, but I'm like, I'm not trying to, like, put you guys in a tough spot. But, like, I understand everyone's point of view. But I feel like as a YouTuber, as a beauty blogger, would I, like, they sent it to me. Like, it's, it's so nice of them. Like, there's like millions of YouTubers out there. So, you know, I feel like it at least deserves like a moment for me to show you how these stuff works on me. So anyway, I was just adding the shade uh, Juno to my crease, but I really think the mustard shade is like the star. So I'm just not going to go there. And then I just want to darken up the outer corner. So I'm going to go into Avalon, um, which is like a chocolatey brown. I feel like this palette is more of like the Urban Decay Honey palette than the Urban Decay Honey palette. Like I really wish Urban Decay had kind of gone like a little bit outside the box and done like, um, like not only honey, but like bees and like maybe like some florals, like some sunflower and done like a tinge of green, like a really deep green shade would have been like a fun, you know, add some spice to the palette. The thing is though, like I get it. Like it's so easy for me to like be like, oh my God, this palette is so boring. But I said this on my community tab on YouTube. I was like, you know, 10 years ago, Karen would have been all over that honey palette. Like, and I don't even think it's going to look bad on people. I think it's going to be a beautiful palette. Like those shades on a deep skin tone, like if those goals are pigmented, like, listen, like that could be somebody's like everyday work nighttime palette. Like that's what the first naked palette was to me. Urban Decay was like one of my favorite brands when I, you know, first, first started getting into makeup. I like somebody gifted me the naked palette. Years and years ago, I think it was maybe like my, I think she got it for me for my like 21st birthday. My best friend got me an Urban Decay palette. And this was like when I was in college and like not balling in the, you know, like I wasn't balling. I'm not balling now, but it was such a sweet gift. Like $50 for an eyeshadow palette for your friend. Like that was big money back in the day. So it was so sweet of her. And I don't know. I just think it's such a good palette. So I, I used to think it was such a good palette, so I get it. Like, I get that it's not for me, but I also think that there is somebody out there that it's for. So, so I'm basically done with my crease. The, you know, the MVP of these palettes 
are the shimmers so I like to put down glitter glue and honestly you guys like there's nothing I really enjoy from Too Faced except their freaking glitter glue I think it's awesome and I bought these like spongy applicators on Amazon you can like buy a huge pack of them and they're the best way to put glitter glue on because guess what glitter glue like wrecks my brushes and like even like my Morphe ones there it's so hard to clean once you use a glitter glue because obviously it's like glue like it's like sticking your friggin brush in like Elmer's so I you know bought these okay I'm gonna go into the shade Cassandra which is like I think their dupe for the electric lime shade in the Natasha Denona palette I'm basically doing the like a similar look that I did with the Natasha Denona gold palette when I showed it on my channel so I kind of want to use a few different glitters so I'm just gonna put that shade in the first part of my lid and then I want to go into um, a little bit of Valkyrie which is like a gold and yeah the Too Faced glitter glue is so good that like everything just like rup, sticks stays put and then Artemis which is like a beautiful purple So like I had, I have to go to the lake after this and obviously like I just have to be extra. <laughs> oh my god. But that's okay. I'll take it. I think I'll take this makeup off and just go makeup less today. But okay, so I like to keep glitter out of my crease. So there's a little bit of glitter. I'm just blending it out. And I have this little Real Techniques brush, and I kind of want to, like, help spread it. <laughs> this is, like, so fun. Like, so, so colorful and wild. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got glitter in my crease which I like don't care but I don't know I feel like with so much glitter like I wanted the crease to be a little bit more matte and there's like a fallout but we'll clean it that's why I did my eyeshadow first so here's kind of the look you can kind of see it I think uh I could have done a little bit of a better job with the crease oh it's totally bugging me that there's glitter in my crease <sighs> I like to do, um, I think like my signature eye look is always like a faux cut crease. I guess that's like the name for it. I've always just always done my eyeshadow like this where it's like a matte and then there's like a very definite line where it transitions to glitter. Um, so I feel like that's how I've always done makeup but apparently it's called a faux like cut crease. I think, or at least that's what I heard um, Amy Loves Makeup call it. She said um, that's what she heard Butte Bean call it. Betty Jean, oh my god. If you guys haven't seen Butte Bean's channel, you guys are missing out. That girl is so talented with color. And she's just like a genuinely sweet person. Like, <sighs> you guys. And she watches my channel. Like, how sweet is that? Like, I don't know it's like there's some creators that you admire so much and like when you know they watch your channel like it literally makes you like ha your heart just like beat a little faster and the other day oh my god you guys wouldn't believe I was freaking out because so you guys know I'm going to New York to Jen live with my dear friend Angie I'm so excited um we met like what was she here in June or July? July. Um, when she was in Minnesota. And then she had... Well, we had always talked about going to a um, convention together. Um, because that was like one of our goals actually for 2019. And I have this wedding to go to in Arizona. Which I've talked to you guys about like a hundred times. And I honestly think like I thought like my budget like I couldn't handle it. I still don't think I have enough money put away 
to make all these trips happen but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like if I have to eat ramen like that's fine uh, <laughs> or if I have to like not buy makeup that's fine you know like this is more important like meeting these friends and like meeting people like is part of the fun of YouTube for me and I have so many eyeshadow palettes like I'll be okay if I don't buy eyeshadow for a while you know what I'm saying but like going back and meeting seeing Angie again in New York and like meeting other youtubers like you can't put a price on that because like that's like half the fun of youtube is like the friends you make and like the you know the love for makeup that you share that's a strong feeling like obviously otherwise companies like ipsy wouldn't exist like sh you know conventions like beauty con and um what else uh drag con and like all this stuff wouldn't exist if we didn't all love makeup as much as we do so um that being said i would rather go to a makeup convention and meet up with my friends so where am i going with the story oh what i was saying is i'm going to new york and i know my friend tina um from the fancy face is from new york so i wrote her a note on instagram and i was like hey gonna be in new york um this is kind of weird, but I would love to meet you. And she actually replied, and I was just like, girl, no. I, she's like, girl, I know who you are. She's like, you're not as small a channel as you think. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna faint. Like, it was so cool. I really like her. Um, you know, she's not everyone's cup of tea, which is fine. Nobody is everyone's cup of tea. I think that is like the downfall of your YouTube channel is if you try to appeal to everyone, because you're not going to. like. You're just not going to. And that's not just like a, a YouTube life lesson. Like that is like a life lesson. Like you're not always going to be everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. Like that's not a you problem. That's not a them problem. It's just the world. We're so different. It's okay. So I'm done with my eyes. There is so much glitter fallout. <laughs> but that's okay. I was kind of messy and savage. Plus, you can totally clean this up if you do your eyes first. If you don't do your eyes first, like, I don't know what to tell you, okay? So, I am gonna finish up my face makeup and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I almost have my entire face done. I just want to do the lower lash line. It's not gonna be anything fancy. I'm just gonna take my Sonia G Builder Pro, go into the shade Athena. I'm really trying to work on not making a funny face when I do my lower lash line. So hard to do. I want to go into the shade Gaia and throw some blue. There's like a beautiful teal matte shade as well. So that's how I'm gonna do that. So yeah, that's that and I'm just gonna put some lipstick on, some mascara on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my quick little video. I really like this palette so, so much. I don't think it takes away from Natasha Denona's more expensive version, but if you're balling on a budget, like I said, while I was doing my makeup, I understand not everyone wants to spend $129 on a eyeshadow palette, and I don't think eyeshadow palettes have copyright. I don't really know, I'm not really a lawyer, but I don't think there's anything against them mimicking a color scheme. And even though I'm still unsure of how I feel with it, I don't feel like I should deprive my subscribers and friends here on the internet from seeing how this palette performs. So that way at least you can make a more informed decision of if you want to purchase this palette. Now I do have a little discount code and a little affiliate link with the brand. You don't need to feel any pressure to use it or anything. I don't make anything off of it. I will go ahead and it's actually in my description box of all my videos. So if you guys want to use it, you sure can save a little bit of money. I know there's other YouTubers that also have codes with the brand. So you can support whoever you want, but just wanted to show you guys how I created this look. I really like this palette. I like the original palette. Like, I'm a happy camper, you know what I mean? So, I am so thankful to Alter Ego for sending me this palette. I was happy to try it out. I don't know that I would have gone and purchased this myself because I have the original, but now that I have both, I can really, you know, compare and tell you that this is a decent, you know, alternative to the more expensive products. So, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys!